Hello everyone and welcome to the pros and cons of a Cavapoo. Weighing the pros and cons of a Cavapoo involves considering their adorable mix of Cavalier King Charles Spaniel and Poodle traits, which bring a potential for a friendly demeanor and low shedding, against the challenges of potential health issues and grooming needs. A hybrid between a Poodle and a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel, the Cavapoo has grown in popularity recently because of its minimal shedding coat, playful disposition, and loving attitude. The designer species is so well-liked that rumors about them among celebrities even exist. Who could forget Pete Davidson's fight with PETA following his adoption? Is this the breed that's best for you? Pros of a Cavapoo Hypoallergenic Because their coats are less likely to shed than those of other dog breeds, Cavapoos are regarded as hypoallergenic. They are therefore a wise option for those who suffer from allergies or asthma. It's crucial to remember that no dog is totally hypoallergenic, and certain cavapoos may shed more or less than others. Friendly and affectionate. It is well known that cavapoos are amiable and loving dogs. They are wonderful family companions and get along well with kids and other animals. It's also well known that cavapoos are devoted and affectionate dogs. They frequently follow their owners throughout the house because they love human company and attention easy to train because they are typically easy to train cavapoos are a great option for first-time dog owners training is made even easier by the fact that they are bright and eager to please basic instructions like come sit and stay can be taught to cavapoos additionally they can be taught more difficult skills like fetch and roll over low maintenance coat the coat of a cavapoo requires little care just a few times a week brushing they are therefore a fantastic option for those who don't have much time to groom their dog. To avoid matting and tangles, it's crucial to remember that cavapoos with wavy or curly coats could need more regular brushing. Long Lifespan Given that cavapoos live long lives, 10 to 15 years, you will have many years to enjoy their company. This is longer than the average longevity of several other dog breeds, including Labrador and Golden Retrievers, which is between 10 and 12 years. Cons of a Cavapoo They can be expensive. Buying a Cavapoo can be costly, particularly if you buy from a reputed breeder. This is due to the fact that Cavapoos are in great demand and are a relatively young breed. A Cavapoo puppy might set you back anything from $1,500 and $5,000. May require professional grooming. For their coats to remain in top condition, certain Cavapoos might need to be professionally groomed. It's not always necessary, but this can get pricey. You might need to take your Cavapoo to a professional groomer every few months to get their coat trimmed and brushed if they have a wavy or curly coat. Can be prone to certain health problems. Certain health issues, including allergies and elbow and hip dysplasia, might affect cavapoos. It's critical to understand these possible health issues before acquiring a cavapoo. Both elbow dysplasia and hip dysplasia are joint abnormalities that can result in discomfort and lameness. Skin issues and itching can be brought on by allergies. Regular veterinary checks are essential to maintaining your cavapoo's health and identifying any potential issues early on. Cavapoos may be too high energy for some people. Due to their high energy levels, cavapoos need a lot of exercise. For those who can't give a lot of exercise, this might not be a good fit. Cavapoos require 30 minutes of exercise a day at the very least, and more exercise is appreciated if it is available to them. They like walks, playing fetch, and racing around the yard. That's the pros and cons of a cavapoo. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on the bell for future notifications. And if you want to become a member then hit that join button to get some awesome emotes, perks, and much more coming soon. See you guys next time.